Well, good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm Debbie from Debbie's World and this video is a review of the More Fit Fitness Tracker. Uh, I was very kindly sent a fitness tracker a couple of weeks ago. Um, I hesitated in accepting um, this um, product to review because I know that quite a few of the vloggers have received one recently and have done similar reviews but I did put a question up on my social media and people did still want to hear different opinions and different reviews. So I've had this fitness tracker, it was sent to me not this Saturday but the Saturday before so I've had it quite a while and I feel like I can do a thorough review and also show you a few things on the on the watch itself and on the app um, to help you make your decision. Now my review will be about having a fitness tracker and about having this specific fitness tracker um, so that then you can decide whether you want to buy this product or whichever other product you feel is suitable for you. I will just say I have a link in the description. You can buy this from Amazon. Um, actually, I'll just follow the link to tell you how much it is. Bear with me a second, should have done this before. It is £31.99 from Amazon and I'll put the link below but if you follow my link you'll get a 13% discount code and I'll receive a small portion of the payment but that is completely up to you um, under no obligation at all uh, and you can just buy it without using the code um, and just pay your own money. So um, the More Fit Fitness Tracker as I say, it arrived um, about 10, 10, 11, 12 days ago. Um, I had ordered it two or three days beforehand and it came on the Saturday. If you have Prime, you'll get it the next day. Um, or you can pay, obviously, for next day delivery if you don't have Prime. Um, as soon as it arrived, I put it on charge and it took just about an hour and 15 minutes to charge um, and then it was working fine. The one thing I will say is you get it in a nice box with a um, little pouch but you and a, a instruction booklet which we'll look at but you do not get any charging leads or plug. So if you need to have a, what, what do you call it? A plug that's friendly for... USB. You need to have a USB plug and a USB lead either already in the house or you'll need to purchase one in order to... Oh no, you don't need a lead, you just need the plug, sorry. Um, and for charging, you just need the plug and for charging, you'll see... Just bear with me a second, you can pull the... You can pull that off. You pull the strap straps off. Bear with me a second. Bloody hell. We'll just... Just pull it. Yeah, I pulled this one off, but it's wrong end. Bear with me right, a second. Right, so for charging, as I say, you just need a USB plug. And you'll see there, on the back of the watch, I've, pull, I've now pulled both the straps off. And it says USB charge. So all you do is plug that straight into your plug and the light, little light will go green um, and it takes about an hour and 15 minutes to charge and then I tested it and from the Saturday it lasted until the following Tuesday so it lasted well over a week so seven, eight, nine days it lasted so it's got a really good charge on it um, so obviously what happens is it's a tracker that tracks your steps and um, it also tracks your heartbeat so you've got the time on it and the temperature oops just bear with me a second let me get back to the beginning you'll never get a professional review video from me you've got the time on it how much battery is left um get off that 
and you've got like the Bluetooth Bluetooth um, to say that it's linked to the uh, to my phone and the temperature and then you've got you give it one tap and you've got your steps another tap and it will do your heartbeat and that's when it starts doing the flashing and this is one of the minuses to the product I believe because I've been wearing it overnight and it will start flashing randomly uh, in the middle of the night and that can disturb your sleep but obviously to have a heartbeat tracker is really quite good so you can see what kind of heartbeat you're having obviously it's not working fully uh, with not being on my wrist and then you've got some modes of exercise to track so you've got walk and you can see it's starting to track a walk there and I'll just and then you hold the um, button down for a sec for three seconds and um, it will come up with your how long you've walked for the steps for that particular walk and the calories um, but don't worry that amount for that particular if you have set it to record a 20 minute walk and it says you've done 2,000 steps it will add that 2,000 steps to your overall daily allowance or daily record so you've got walk run and bike there and there's also more options on the app um, so that is really good obviously with a bike it's not going to be counting the steps that you actually do because you're not doing steps on a bike but you will get your heart rate how long you've exercised for on the bike and how many calories you've burned so that can be useful um, overall I found it really really useful what I'll do is I'll do my little review now and then I'll show you a few more things what you can do through the app um, overall I found it really really useful um, the difference between a fitness tracker and which you wear on your wrist and having a steps tracker on your phone is that this if you have it on your wrist it will track every single step that you do and not just when you're carrying your phone which is really really useful for me so I always take my phone when I go for a walk with the dog um, so my phone was recording roughly between four and six thousand steps a day because I do two 20 to 25 minute walks with the dog every day um, but with my fitness tracker I'm getting regularly between eight and ten thousand steps because it's recording all the steps I do in the house um, and all the little bits where I'm not carrying my phone um, also obviously um, on the on last Friday I was doing a hell of a lot of cooking in the kitchen and I had my fitness tracker on and my phone had recorded 5,000 steps and by the time I'd finished all my cooking uh, my fitness tracker had recorded 11,000 steps altogether so it does show you what you can do just while you're in the house and I think it's been a real real good tool for um, tracking those extra little steps that you do and for making me go out and do more walking and trying to beat my goals and also um, being able to see how many calories I've, I'm burning in a single exercise session is really useful um, it, I've also used it another thing that I can't really use my phone for is when I'm in an exercise class so obviously when you're in an exercise class you can't carry your phone but you can wear a fitness tracker now in an exercise class you're not necessarily doing steps or walking but um, during my fitness stretch class it recorded a thousand steps and during my circuit training class both classes are an hour it recorded two thousand steps so yeah I was really really chuffed with that and this is apparently a waterproof version um, so you can take it um, swimming um, obviously it's not going to record your swimming as steps um, but it, it, 
it, you can just keep it on. Now I haven't tested that. Um, I'm, I'm not brave enough to throw it in a bowl of water or take it swimming. But I tell you what I have done. I've worn it constantly for the last, since I've had it, for the last 12, 12 days or so. And it's been working perfectly fine through washing up. Uh, washing my hands, having water dripped on it, water going under the strap, things like that. So it's perfectly safe for things like that. The other thing it tracks through the app is your sleep, which I'll show you. So I found it really interesting to see how much I'm sleeping, how many steps I'm doing, how many calories I'm burning. And I, generally, I genuinely think it's a good tool. And that's, that's not just this tracker it's all it most fitness trackers will do that for you but this particular one i have found it to be really good and really reliable the only thing is um on some of the, on some of the nights i usually go to go to bed and think that i go to sleep around 11 o'clock but on some nights it was saying that i wasn't going to sleep till about 12 30 um and i usually wake up around six o'clock um, so it was recording less sleep, but I think just over time it's it's getting more used to the wearer and um, you never know. It does tell you um, what's light sleep and what's deep sleep and the total amount of sleep. So if, you, if that's something you'd find useful, then uh, have a look into that. Um, I'm not really a watch wearer. So to be honest, I have worn it quite loosely. So I don't know whether that's um, a factor. Um, and whenever I've done a, a, a exercise class, I've tightened it up a little bit. Um, I do find when wearing it, I haven't had an allergic reaction because I did used to get a metal reaction when I wore watches. Um, but whether that's because it's got this sensor here and it hasn't actually got a lot of metal that is next to the skin I have found it a little bit annoying wearing it wearing something on my wrist the whole time uh, but I'm just trying to get used to it um, and obviously that that would be the case with any fitness tracker but it does in general feel quite comfortable you can obviously loosen it or tighten it as you want to there's quite a bit of range of buttons there for the size. Um, so as I say, whether that's a factor in things not recording correctly, I'm not sure. But as I say, I would say overall, it's been a really good tool for measuring my steps. It's been an encouragement and it's been good to check out on the app um, what I've done each day. Right, so now I'm going to try and set up the camera so I can show you the app and a few more little details. I'm just watching the review back and there's a couple of things I've forgotten to say. So the the advantages of a fitness tracker, this is probably any fitness tracker and not just this one, is that it actually tracks your steps on how much you move and not on your G, not on your GPS. So a lot of apps on your phone uh, including Strava and Map My Walk and the actual the step trackers um, use GPS to track your steps and they don't actually track on how much you're moving um, so like when you're on a treadmill you can't use your phone um, and obviously as I've said before it's not when you're in the house it's not useful because it's using GPS and not actually how much you're moving your legs. So I find that really really useful uh, to have something that can track how, how many steps I'm doing while I'm on the treadmill or if I'm doing a little exercise video in the house or as I say in the gym you can wear a fitness tracker in the gym and it will tell you how many steps you're doing Whereas if you were use if you did manage to carry your phone, it wouldn't track anything because you haven't moved according to the GPS. So that is another plus of a fitness tracker. So with your fitness tracker, you will get a user manual. Um, it's not very complicated at all. Um, in fact, there's only a few pages in English. So you need a for the app. 
You can use this fitness tracker without a mobile phone and you will just use the um, the functions that I've already shown you but connecting it to your mobile will give you a few further options so you need a Apple iPhone with iOS 7.1 or an Android phone with 4.4 or above you need to then you need to download the very fit pro app which looks like this the orange one with a white F then it shows you the both the ends and you can also, the other end uh, plugs into a laptop so you can uh, connect it to a laptop and it says please fully charge your device, you can charge it through a laptop as well, USB charging directly and it shows you there charging it through a laptop, the screen will show a charging icon, let's just take this off so I can show you on here. So on your phone, on your watch, sorry, you've got your little um, button here and your charging, charging green light is up here and you'll see that. And then to pair with your phone you've got some very clear instructions there. Uh, you can also um, set the time and set alarms, daily fitness mode heart rate mode, alarm clock mode and sports mode. You can enable notifications so that, I haven't done that, but if you want to know when you get a text through your phone or if you want it to remind you to get up and move, you can also do that. I think this is all through your phone, setting your alarm um, and things like that. So you need to do all that through the app. And then you've got a few questions and about the warranty. So once you've downloaded the app and paired it with your phone, just go into it. And you need to pull down. Oh, bear with me a second. I need to put my Bluetooth on. So you can see there that once you've pulled down, it says synchronizing. So at the moment it's saying 5724. It takes a few seconds to synchronize. So it's, uh, it's actually already up to date because my fitness tracker also says 5724. So we'll just wait for that to finish and you'll see that it says I've burnt 291 calories and I've walked three miles nearly. That's because I've been to the gym this morning and done a 20 minute run. And it says it'll tell you that your target is 10,000 which I believe you can change if you wish. You'll also be able to put your full details in, your weight and height, your date of birth and things like that. So there we go, that's it updated. So you can see that in my day I've recorded the ride on, I did a 10 minute ride at the gym and a 20 minute run. I actually started it uh, after I'd started running and it tells me that during my run I covered a distance of 1.3 miles and burnt 134 calories and there's my sleep um, so 20 past 12 to 5 to 8 and I slept 7 hours and 30 minutes that's about right I think I would have thought um, so that's my full day today and target setting you can change your target for your steps, you can lessen it and you can change your target for your sleep and you can also put a weight goal in if you wish and keep that updated. You can also synchronise it with your Apple Health which will also track your steps. 
have a look what else have we got in here. Bear with me a second, I can't get. And then you've got, this is where you would set up your um, call alerts, sedentary alert that will tell you if you've been still, if you've been still for so long, it will be at you to tell you to move, set your alarm. <coughs> Bear with me a second. Uh, set up your camera. Um, if you get a newer one, you can do an upgrade, all sorts of things. You can also see over the over the few days if you've met how many days you've met your target of 10,000 steps. My average steps are 8,500 and you can see the calories that you've burnt over the week and the average calories you burn in a day. And that's the main page. So there's lots of extras on the app that you can see. And also if you wanted to you could screenshot and share how many steps you've done to all these different apps under here. Let's see what this one is. I think that just means that it's paired that one up there. So yeah, I believe that it's a really useful thing, especially if you have the app, it's really, really useful. It can really, really motivate you. Um, to get going, to get moving and it will include all those extra little bits that a tracker on your phone can So if monitor. you are interested in purchasing a Morfit fitness tracker then follow the link below to Amazon. If you want to use the discount code uh, then please do. Let me know what you think if you have a fitness tracker. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have any questions please let me know. Um, and please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.